The big John McCarthy. Taking the reins for this one here at ACB 57 in Moscow. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Luke Barnett, calling the action for you. Maxim Futin in the blue corner. Issa Umarov in the red. And again, we've got orthodox against unorthodox stances. Yeah, this is the third fight of the night. Um, we'll see. Fourth fight and third uh, third time we've seen this battle of, of stances. And it's all about the backhand when you have this sort of thing. You know, the, the front hand, they'll touch, they'll touch, they'll touch, but they're all looking for that little inch to throw that left or that right hand, depending on the stance. And these guys are big, powerful men, you know, so one shot can really end it. Both very elite grapplers as well. Maxim Fuch in the Sambo background, so watch for those hip tosses, those leg locks, foot locks. But Umarov is the one that shoots first. Didn't set it up very well, just kind of dived in, and that's why there was too much space, and looks for a head kick to follow that up. Kind of blocked, not very well, though. And from Putin, just extended his arm out. That's how you get broken arms, is when you try and block an arm by extending it. Block a kick, rather. Oh, big uppercut, and he eats it with a... Follows it up with a right hand himself. Putin landing the overhand and eating an uppercut at the same time, both landing. Nice. He's Pick up. Um, wrapping the legs up quickly as well there, but... Putin masterfully back to his feet, absolutely beautiful. See, again getting lifted, though, and slammed. Great work, good control here from Issa Umarov. Maxim Putin almost smothered that work. He caught him with the right, and he rushed in, and Umarov was able to clinch up, and now he's the one on top. Umarov doing fantastic work with that tight waist, just lifting him off the ground. I mean, that's a powerful man. Umarov so dominant in these positions, but this will be interesting as well because he's now up against a very high-level Sambo player. Great wrist control to avoid damage there. But a beautiful um, work to get underneath there to try and get to the stand-up for Putin. He's trying to work back to the fence. Managed he's to watch his back. Good control here from Umarov. I feel like Putin's developed a lot in his cage grappling, you know, using the cage very well here to stand. He just needs to try, he's, he's very aware now of that pickup, you know, he, he doesn't want to stand when the guy's got, see how he's got the tight waist around him, he's got good control over the waist, he doesn't want to allow, allow to stand up and he knows he's going to get taken straight back down. Umarov looking to get those hooks in and manages to and... and looking straight for that choke, but he's not quite underneath the chin. And good work here from Putin battling, trying to get that foot off. Needs to make sure he watches the choke as well, though. Turns in. Doing very well to loosen that foot up, but like he said, he's got a powerful Umarov on him, and he turns it round, and now he's on top. Great work there, getting the elbow back and getting on top in the top position, and could rain down some elbows here. Watch for that as well. He's already locked up that right arm of Umarov. Will he stretch him out? Yeah, Umarov looking for, for that deep half guard. It's not great position in MMA, because you can get caught a lot with the shots. And like you said, his arm is stuck now, and he manages to get it out. They're almost switching positions now. Putin basing up high. Putin very powerful on top. Needs to try and get, get the grasp of Umarov off his leg and stands. Tries to throw him. And but look at this, and now we've turned it around, and Umarov has a go on top. Back Umarov, and forth, exactly. Umarov could sense the throw there, sense it. He felt it, and he just let go, and he fell backwards. You know, he that's a lot, a lot of height. A lot of time on the mat getting thrown around to give you that sense of feeling. Some, some great mobility from these two men, you know, large men here, moving every, using every part of their body. Great dexterity in the legs. I'm impressed with the guard, you know, and he, he's switching in between lots of different guard positions here, getting foot on the hips, looking for, and he's going to try and use 100% to maybe throw him over here. Could even look to take the back here if he can switch it. Manages to stand up, but has that tight waist. Needs to, he's very aware of that and does great work to get to the fence. And Umarov with this tight waist is an absolute nightmare. Very, very dangerous. And has already got a takedown with it two or three times. 40 seconds left in this first round. A real chess match, back and forth with the grappling. John McCarthy replacing the mouth guard then, picking a, a good time to do that. Putin's in a lot of trouble here with that tight, great little, little whack there to get him to the ground, but he's in a lot of trouble with this tight waist, can't seem to deal with it. See how he's got both of his arms wrapped 
wrapped around him and he just once you have that and you've got a powerful man wrapped around your waist and he can lift the way we've seen him already it's hard to deal with you know you need to try and pummel in and get an underhook to so get another arm in between to separate them do it do two overhooks here he's got nothing he's got he's got no grasp with no control uh, so it's very very dominant work there from Umarov. It's a Greco-Roman style, you know, and it's been very effective for him. And you see Umarov shaking his arms out there. Just, it's very difficult to describe exactly the amount of energy fighters, and especially in this weight class, they're using to get those bits of control. We'll see a little bit of the action here. Coming back, the high kick from Umarov early on. But this is the striking exchange, the overhand right. It did, did catch him, but it was more of an off-balancing than anything really there. No, his feet went underneath him, and that was mainly it. But this is the takedown that we were talking about. It's to take a lot of energy using that tight waist just to pick him up and get him to the ground. Very hard to do that to another man, you know, just to just to literally pick him up like a child and drop him on his ass. It's not easy. Um, so that just shows the, the the difference in level in the Greco from both men. There's different styles in wrestling. You know, you've got the leg attacks, the double legs, the single legs, where they drop down and try and control the legs and drive down for the takedown. It's all like a you know, a rugby or an NFL kind of style takedown. The upper body clinch work that we saw there is a completely different style, you know, and, and, and if you're not used to it and you don't train with high level guys who grapple up upper body, it can really, really be effective. So we move into the second round here. And we've seen technique, skill, a real chess match in the wrestling, but this could come down to what they have in the tank, how that strength and conditioning program for this fight camp has come up, because it's such a grueling way to fight, to compete against another man. Especially, in, like we say, in those Greco exchanges, your arms can get very, very tired, using a lot of, a lot of power to try and lift. Go to that head kick again. That was quite evenly matched in the stand-up in the uh, first, but you feel like Putin feels in, be in better shape there. Feels like he can, can cause damage, just even though he dropped him in the first kind of a bit of an off-balance, but he caught him, and, and that give him some, you know, make him feel good about this position, give him a lot of confidence to throw. And he's got a powerful right hand as well. That's a game-changer to any man that he fought Umarov going for the spin there. to set up that right hand, Maxim Futin. And Futin controlling the cage well, you know, he's, he's on, on the inside of the cage and pushing his opponent up against the fence. And this is where you've got, no, you've got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. If he throws that shot, you've got nowhere to go. Right hand there, but didn't cause much damage. Right in front of us here, and you can see it, whenever we're getting Futin to commit to a shot, throwing over, you know, Issa Umarov is just dropping, just avoiding it and trying to wrestle. He doesn't want any of the stand-up, doesn't want to get caught with that big shot. I can feel like... The dominance on the, on the feet is definitely in Putin's favor. He looks more comfortable. He he feels like he's going to catch him. And this is what we're seeing every single time from Issa. He wants to engage in that grappling. He doesn't, you know, if I, if I was Putin, I'd fake the overhand and I'd come up with an uppercut. Because I was he's about dropping to say every time. exactly the same thing. It looks to me like uh, Issa's been the one drilling that uppercut for the entries of Putin. But Putin now, if he can, almost catches him there. But you're right, that uppercut down the middle. He's dropping his head whenever, whenever he looks in danger, he's dropping his head. If you throw that left hook uppercut, he's going to land, for sure. Even a knee as he comes in, maybe. Right in front of us here, great control. Just under three Putin. minutes left as well of this round. Looking to spin again, Issa. Great awareness there from Putin in and out. You can just see with how comfortable he is on his feet as far as the footwork, the, the balance of his upper body, the little feints. Looks like he's been working a lot on his hands since that Max Nunes fight. Who's Issa moving into the power hand of Putin here as well, just con constantly moving to the right side for Putin. If he lands anything, a high kick, a leg kick, a right hand, it's going to have unbelievable power in it. And a very desperate shot there from Issa. You can see the, almost the fear in his eyes on the feet here as he's getting hunted down by Maxim Putin. Nice, nice straight left there. We asked the question about Isumov and that one round that he comes out for, and that's a big shot right in front of us. Again, desperately searching for the legs. I'd just like to see attack come from underneath from Putin. If you threw, like you said, a knee would be perfect right now, a knee or an uppercut. Fake with those shots, but he landed there very heavy. The sweat from uh, <laughs> Isumov slapped me in the face. And I'm... I'm it can see the fear in his eyes. Max and Foon growing in confidence. He sees it. It's almost growing in size in front of our eyes right now in this round. And the style that we've got from Issa Umarov, trying to look for those takedowns, is an extremely tiring style, especially at this weight. 
It's also That's mentally fatiguing as well. If he uh, if he keeps failing with these takedowns, then and in the eye of the judges, you know, if you're doing this and you're just falling to your to the ground like that, you're not winning the round. You're not looking dominant. You're not in control. You're not causing damage. It's just, it's just a great round for Putin, considering what happened in the first. And there's that going oh, to the body. Oh, that's a big body shot there. That was huge. What a finish there to take out Issa Umarov. Maxim Putin was taking the momentum of that fight in that second round. The hands were the difference. And that uppercut that you called for, but to the body, is, is the strike that changed it all. Momentum is the word in that. I mean, the first round, he struggled with the wrestling, got taken down. And then when Putin found his range and, and found his confidence on the feet, and you could just see that Issa Umarov didn't have that, didn't have that confidence, was worried about the power, and was really, you know, submitting, was just letting, was letting uh, Maxim Putin control the fight, letting him do what he wanted, and the time, was, the time was coming, you know, it was definitely coming for the finish. He switches it up rather than going to the head as he has been, smacks down in the body, and uh, it's just too much for Issa Umarov. Great little finish there, very intelligent fight, uh, and just great control of the fence and the cage. Maxim Putin taking the victory.